a lot of people keep on complaining and that's not just South Africa I mean that's all over the world I mean I know a lot of people all over the world so it's I see that in all kinds of places and I hear that in all kinds of places stop complaining and take action if you want to make a difference in South Africa start making a difference yeah, don't yeah, complain so, don't so, jump on Facebook and say <laughs> oh it's a bad uh, president or whatever the case may be make a difference so um, if anyone's willing to, to, to become the next mayor of Standerton, you really need to follow. There you go. Here you go from there, Gary. <laughs> when we start really um, focusing on our purpose and really um, I, I like the word ikigai because that's that's the beautiful Japanese word for when we wake up in the morning so for something bigger than ourselves but I think when we start when we find that and that's I think a difficult thing to do but when we find that then obstacles doesn't really become obstacles but it really becomes opportunities to grow and opportunities to something new and we re realize that it's just something new and but if it, if we don't follow our purpose um, then it becomes difficult to overcome our adversity because um, it becomes a pain and not you don't see the growth and the opportunity in that. I went through a similar, and I've shared it with you on an interview before, um, but I also went through a terrible business failure. And, and funny enough, the, the same, per, well, also my wife sat me down and remind me about the blessings that we actually have yeah. and not about the failure that we're going through so and because we are made um, the ego is i mean i like the word of the ego because i mean i've i mean seen that in martial arts and everything in my life as well um the moment our egos are that are that big we all have an ego obviously but uh, it if we run our business if we run our life with our ego we forget that the better part of that is running our business and our life with our heart and our soul. And when our ego is that big, we, we can't acknowledge the failure and we can't be open to, to the new possibilities that, that's there. And something I've got from then, it seems like the same to you, is that I need to trust my wife more about her <laughs> opinions and, and everything. And I think that's that's a lesson for a lot of men, especially in South Africa. Let me, let me just, I mean, from, from coming from here as well. The only reason why I'm laughing is because it's so true, you know, like uh, so many times that, that I won't say not not always trust, but just yeah, listen. Well, trust in yeah, that sense. Yeah. In context, trust definitely. Yeah. Um, and I hope Shermaine's not watching this. I don't want to give it to you. <laughs> I can't afford this, yes. <laughs> you can't afford this. <laughs> the, well, the moment I've started trusting my wife's senses, um, yeah, I, life seemed to be working out better for me than when I started trusting her senses as well. So I think that's a good lesson for all of us because we as men, our egos are very big and we tend to not be open to, to listen to, to, to them or to anybody else. I mean, that's why we need mentors to, to be able to help us grow, to, to open up new possibilities for us. Anybody that went through a massive failure before and overcome that by, like, like we discussed, um, I think COVID-19 showed us that life will never be the same prior to COVID-19 and that materialistic things are only a part of success. Um, money, materialistic things are only a part of that. So there's so much more to be grateful for. Um, sharing spending time with amazing people um, spending time in amazing places um, just having your family around you that's, that's healthy like you mentioned I mean I also agree with, with I try to do a, a three pointer gratitude list every day it's just uh, gratitude create happy people and happy people build successful businesses I mean that's that is as simple as it is and you the, the small things become the big things so I mean if you have if you if you grateful for the small things it seemed it always seemed to that the, the bigger things start surfacing into your life just because you are grateful for the for the smaller things and and when you start being grateful you start sharing value and when you share sharing value you receive abundance i mean it's like a it's like a big spiral of just everything coming together as we yeah. start running everything with our own soul and a lot less with our with our mind and with our ego 
I think there's, 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 there's two sides of this coin. And I think the one is exactly what you said. Go reverse engineer, go to your bed, deathbed and reverse engineer to today because that's the only way you can actually get to a point where you can, you know, what, what, I want to say goals, but what, what do you want to achieve in life? Do you, how do you want to remember that comes back to your ikigai and why do I wake up in the morning? Do I just wake up for myself and to go make a lot of money for myself? Or do I want to wake up in the morning and serve a lot of people and help or a lot of other people to empower them and for them to make money or whatever the case may be and create better humans. And in return, the money will flow. So it's, I think it's, it's, we all, we have it all the way wrong in sense of, <laughs> That's actually true. I think value, and and then, but in the same sense, start living in the in the presence. That's something I started doing. Is start living in the presence. I've mentioned to you, um, we had a call just be, in, earlier today about something else, but and then I mentioned to you about about the, in, the interview and everything. I, uh, previously, about probably my first twenty five odd interviews, there was like poo, 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 certain questions, and I was like, that's the way it needs to go. And then for my last about ten interviews. I just told everybody I interview, let's just use the energy where it needs to go. Let, let's place this hour. Hopefully somebody can find value from this. And whatever need to come out in this present moment of the day, in this hour, we need to add value to somebody's life. Mm -hmm. And for, for us as well. I mean, we learn from each other today in an hour, hopefully. Mm, so I think I think so. It's I think it's two two sides. It's either the, so living in the presence and being open to the presence, and also re re engineer from 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 deathbed to to now, and actually just know, like you said, how do you want to be remembered? What legacy do you want to leave behind? Hi, Yas Basonia. I just wanted to remind you about the Daily Entrepreneur Tips series. It's a business growth series for entrepreneurs and contains financial information and also information to grow you as a person and your business because we will never grow our business any higher than we grow ourselves. So click on the link below and I will send you daily information to grow you as a person and your business and it's for 365 days of the year. I think a lesson for for COVID nineteen, and that's what I've seen with a lot of people that got stuck in this time is they're almost like waiting for COVID nineteen and lockdowns to get over, to return to their normal life that used to be. The thing is that will never be the same again. The new there's a new normal of things that will happen. So like you just mentioned Robin Sharma, but um, you use, you always say um, life and personal growth and personal development is never. It's, it's never an event. It's always a process. So it's always it's always a process of aiming to be be your best version. But you will never get to that point of your best version. If you get to a point that you believe you're at your best version, you're stuck. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, like you know, I'm in martial arts. I used to be a kickboxing instructor. And what I what I always tell the the the, the people in the class is when we we had certain um, exercise that we had to do like certain rounds and then it's like 10 minutes and you just aiming to get to as much rounds as possible in 10 minutes so it's like it's like almost like a chase for yourself and i always told them like i might be able to do 13 rounds of that in my better fitter days and um but my previous record might be five but i'm striving to do better rounds every time but i'm not comparing myself to gary that also doing that if you do three three rounds a day and four rounds tomorrow you've improved yourself you've improved your, yourself in that process and there's nothing to do with me that done 13 15 or 16 rounds it, it's absolutely you don't compare yourself and i think that's the biggest thing about um what limiting us in growth as well we, we compare i'm comparing myself so much to gary that i can't find my own ikigai and the way i need to live What I've learned was that nobody, well, very little people do have the intention to be a bad person. Nobody wakes up this morning and see, how can I be difficult or how can I be bad, doing bad things to Jasper or to Gary? I mean, this is not somebody's intention to be bad. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, so, but everybody do the best I can 
on the current consciousness and awareness that they are and the maturity level that they are. So I learned to not to criticize somebody that I believe doing something wrong against me because I, um, what, what I teach, teach, but what I, what I tell my staff at, at Drake Holdings as well a lot is that if, if a client reacts to you in a bad way and you've done nothing wrong, it's take it from that person's perspective of his level of maturity and respect level of himself. It's not mm. towards you. Don't attract, you don't attract that part to you. You do the best that you can and with the best integrity that you can and and accept that every person do have their own path and have their own level of awareness and consciousness and maturity. So mm. that, that's the way I've swifted my mind in the sense of I can't control anybody else than myself. My wife also always talk about um, setting, setting up boundaries. So if you look at the little block there and you're in, inside of the block and I'm telling Gary, this is my boundaries. And I let Gary into my boundaries. I need to take personal, absolute personal responsibility of my actions and my responsibility of letting you go into that parameters of my block. Um, so I think that's very important. I, um, I'm not saying that that happened to you, but that's something I learned as well is in every situation, there's always my part, my part in it. And if I start learning to take absolute personal responsibility of what happened, and the most of the time it's letting people into that boundary space of mine, which I, from the start said, it can't be so set that boundaries right from the start and then if don't allow people to come into that parameters or that, that boundaries a lot of people keep on complaining and that's not just South Africa I mean that's all over the world I mean I know a lot of people all over the world so it's I see that in all kinds of places and I hear that in all kinds of places stop complaining and take action if you want to make a difference in South Africa start making a difference yeah, don't yeah. complain, so, don't so, jump on Facebook and say, oh, it's a bad uh, president or whatever the case may be. Make a difference. So um, if anyone's willing to, to, to become the next mayor of Standerton, you really need to follow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Here you go from Gary. <laughs> uh,